so this is Sarah Kramer, and this is my recap for um, isolations, variations, technique, and flair. Um, so first we just went over uh, reviewing all the types of isolations in all the different hands and with each direction. So we also talked about like how you could do it really slow or really fast um, and all those different things. For a static isolation, um, we then moved to linear isolation. So we did our horizontal linear isolations, and we went through that in both directions with both hands, and we went through the technique with that. And then we did our vertical isolations in both directions with both hands, um, just to review all those things and to go over techniques for making the lines really clean, such as doing it on the floor to keep your lines straight. Um, so we also went over um, two-handed isolations. So two hands next to each other, also two hands crossed. Um, and then we talked about how to do that cross two-hand isolation with a, ver uh, with a vertical movement. Um, so that was kind of fun. Uh, we then went over masking isolations. So we went over this one. We went over this one, and we talked about how those can be worked into the linear isolation of the masking. Um, we then briefly went over smears, which is a way to isolate and cross um, planes, um, and barrel rolls, which is just another fun way to isolate. I also talked about how I consider these sort of like bounces and other kind of wonky movements to be isolated moves that you can work into an isolated sequence um, and how to do some of those. Uh, finally, just like which was what I wanted from the class all together, we talked about how we can put all those different types of all those isolations, all that type of flair, masking, all those things into a sequence to really create a fun sequence where you're doing different types of isolations and really to work with the momentum of the hoop to decide what to do next. All right, thank you.